Hello and welcome to the 49th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at class pointers. Similar to variables, objects can also point to other objects. A little quick note, members of pointers can be accessed using the dash and greater than symbol uh, but we'll show you that in a moment of how to access members of objects. So, I mean members of pointers I should say. So this is, yeah. Don't want to open up the CPP. I want to open up the project itself, and uh, we can leave that behind. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what we want to do is just quickly create a class, class vehicle, and in here we're gonna create some public stuff. We do vehicle. So we're gonna create a constructor speed variable, float age. And what we're going to do is have an overloaded constructor as well, which is which will simply just take speed temp float age temp, and then let's just implement these constructors of so vehicle vehicle. I mean vehicle colon colon vehicle. And in here we will just set the speed to 60 by default and the age to uh, 1. Let's put 1. I'm going to do vehicle colon colon vehicle. Implement the overloaded constructor. And a quick way to get the parameters is copy and paste them. A little general programming to copy and paste as much as you can or just do stuff like that that will reduce your load because that way it's less work for you to do and eventually it does build up people's speed temp but again that is totally up to you how you want to do it as a little recommendation from us so what we're going to do is remove this and create a vehicle object called BMW pass it through values 500, 783, and do vehicle. And now we're going to create a pointer object of vehicle. So we're going to do asterisk, let's call it BMW2, equals to memory address of BMW, semicolon. Now if we do BMW2, so to access the members of BMW2, oh, sorry, it should be called BMW2. To access the members of BMW2, you do dash greater than, that's how you access the members of a pointer, so the functions and the variables. Now it's going to do speed equals 467. And now if we were to do stdc out bmw dot speed std and line. Actually what we're going to do is also copy and paste this before. Now if we run this we'll get a value of 500 and 467. We've got a value of 500 because you initialize with the value of 500. And because BMW2 just points to BMW, so anything that we do to BMW2 will affect BMW, the speed of BMW is now 467. But if we were to just put BMW2 here, we dash greater than and run this, we get a value of 467 as well because it just points to it. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube as well. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. The next part of this series will be looking at overloading operators. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.